Hello painters, welcome to the second video in my Painting the Monster Manual A to Z. Today we're going to be doing the Aboleth. Since there's no actual official Aboleth Mini, we're using this Reaper Gorloth Mini. First up, we've got some Scale 75 Arfin Jade from the Fantasy and Game series. And we're going to do a base coat with our airbrush. So we start with a little Vallejo Flow Improver. And it's about a 50-50 mix. So add some paint. Stir it up with a paintbrush. Then I stick my finger or my hand over the tip, run some air through it, makes it backflow and helps mix. Do a little spray test. And we're just going to coat the entire mini. I did do a zenithal priming on this one. You can see how I did that in my painting basics video on priming. It's going to speed up. Notice how the bottom is much darker. But as you can see, I did two thin coats. And so we have a nice base coat with the Arfin Jade. You can do this with a regular paintbrush as well if you don't have an airbrush. Next up, we've got Scale 75 Orc Flesh. It's a little bit brighter shade. And we'll put that in our airbrush as well. And there's a little Scale 75 Caribbean Blue. So this will be our highlight color. I'm adding a little bit of water because the paint was a little thick. Use a toothbrush to make sure the tip's clean. And now we're just gonna try to highlight the areas where we think that light would hit, hit them the most. So basically, kind of coming straight down on it. Let's do a nice thin coat. Make sure you hit all those nice flat areas. Once again, you could do this with a paintbrush, just thin your paints very well. Use multiple coats. Here I'm going on the tail in the back and the tops of the fins. Side of the belly. Along the top of the tail. anywhere you think the light would hit. Same thing on the other side. Straight down all of the tentacles. Now 
And I'm just kind of reinforcing some of the highlights in areas where I think it should be a little brighter. All right, up next, we're going to spray the whole model with Vallejo Gloss Varnish. And this will help protect the paint from the wash that we will be doing next. All right, so we've got some Citadel Coelia Nightshade. It's kind of a blue-green wash. And we're only going to do the areas where there's quite a bit of texture. So like all the little ridges and the fins. The little indentations on the back of the spine. We're going to run a line down the gills. The parts below. Same thing on the back fins. Notice I'm not doing the little circular areas on his tail because we are going to paint those a different color. And the head. Also putting some on the suckers on the ends of the tentacles, though you'll probably hardly see them. All right, now we're going to use a flat Model Master lusterless flat varnish and spray the whole model with that. Now we're going to go back to our scale color 75 uh, Caribbean blue. Get out a paper towel. And we're going to dry brush all the areas that we just washed. It's going to highlight the raised edges and leave the recesses darker. Up next, we've got Privateer Press Kador Red. We're going to fill in all the little circles on the tail. This will probably take two coats. Also going to use the same color on all the eyes.
All right, next we have Privateer Press Kador Red Highlight, which is a nice orange color. And we're gonna thin that very well and just try to paint the centers of each of the spots that were red. Make sure to leave a ring of red around the outside. And I will do two coats of this as well. And then the centers of the eyes with the same color. Next up we've got uh, Citadel Flash Gets Yellow. And now we're just going to do the center, the very center of the orange. This will really brighten it up. Next we have Citadel Bloodletter Glaze, and we're going to cover all of those areas that we did. This will help bring the red back into it. Mute the yellow down a little. Just make sure you go on very thin, wick away any excess. and over the eyes as well. Now I've got some P3 Menoth white base and I'm painting all the little spines on the fin or the fins. Any ivory or bone color would work here. And there we have the finished mini. If you like this video, make sure and hit the like button. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. Also, check out my Facebook group, Devious Dungeons Denizens, and my Patreon. There are links in the chat below. Thanks, and see you next time.